there and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be uh, reviewing the Nova Mortis and the Abaddon, or Abaddon, however which way you want to say it, and we're going to be comparing it to the Thunderlord. Alright, so first up is the Abaddon. It looks amazing, in my opinion. Probably one of the best out of the three, compared to Thunderlord and Nova Mortis, obviously. And let's see what it fires like. Alright, so it's actually pretty damn good. I love this but It allows you to fire for longer and then gain more stability and accuracy toward the end of the round. So there's the difference between having perfect balance and field scale. Perfect balance obviously for more stability. However, I don't see much difference, so I'm just going to stick to my field scale for now on. Right, so we've got to see the Abaddon. The perks are exactly the same on the Nova Mortis and Thunderlord, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like, and so you can see what it sounds like. Alright, so this is just to show that all the stats on the Abaddon, Thunderlord, and Nova Mortis are exactly the same. Alright, so I went to the Crucible with Dens, just to see how much damage I could do up close to the body and head, and then how much damage I could do from far away. Alright, so I did about 50 to the body and 62 to the head. I did it from a range and I found out that the hitbox is insanely large for this gun. I was shooting Denzer's knee and still getting headshots. The only time I got a body shot was when I hit his foot, but I was doing the exact same damage as I was before, which is 62 that I had and then 50 to the body. Alright, so next up is the ammo count. We have Field Scout on the gun, which allows me to have 150 in total. Up next, I tested it with just the boots giving me extra ammo and no Field Scout. This gave me a total of 105 rounds. We then finally go to absolutely no perks. So no Field Scout, no perks on the uh, chest plate all my boots, we only hold up to 87 rounds total. Next up we have the perks. First off we're going to use Freedom Frenzy, we're going to compare the two with and without. So when I've killed somebody and I start reloading and when I haven't hit anything and I'm reloading. So as you can see, it was actually a second quicker with the Freedom Frenzy perk, rather than without. Last but not least, we have a hidden perk called Firefly. You can see this in action on this vandal that I shot in the head. Alright, so I'm going to be wrapping this video up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go enjoy these we new weapons, try and get myself that icebreaker. If you want to know how to get these weapons, then I'll leave a link in the description to Sorrowball's videos. Sorrowball is a good friend of mine. He's also in the Discord. I'll also leave that in the description for you guys to go into. You can join our little community we have on our Discord channel. But thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.